right today I'm going to add some eyebrows so I'm just going to left select the mesh press tab and left select edit mode I'm going to press control tab and left select face I'm going to left select these three faces here I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate slightly I'm going to press shift D and duplicate those and just right click okay I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude these out slightly left click to lock those in I'm going to press Control R and put some vertical loop cuts in just going to roll the middle mouse button and left click to lock them into that face I'm going to press Control R again and roll the mouse wheel maybe five times six times left click to lock that in and just finally put up two up here left click to lock those in okay I'm going to press and hold alt and select every second one so I'm going to start with the first one I'm going to start with the second one press and hold alt I'm going to press and left select I'm going to press S and just scale that up I'm going to go to the next the second one press S press and hold alt and left select and press S and just scale this up okay I'm gonna go to this one here press and hold alt left select press S and scale this up okay I'm gonna do the exact same thing here press and hold alt left select press S and scale that up press and hold alt press S and scale this one up press and hold alt press S and scale this one up press and hold alt again press S just scale these up just to form a decent shape on them I'm gonna press S again okay I'm gonna hover the mouse over this and press L and just press S to scale Z for the Z axis and just scale these down slightly okay I'm gonna press 1 now for front view okay I'm just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button and just rotate I'm gonna press control tab and left select face I'm gonna select these three faces here and again I'm gonna press shift D and make a duplicate copy and just right click to lock that in I'm just gonna roll the mouse wheel press 1 on this view here and I'm gonna press E to extrude and just pull these out ever so slightly left click to lock that in okay now I want to put some loop cuts vertically in these so I'm gonna press Control R and just roll the mouse wheel and left click I'm gonna roll the mouse wheel six times and left click twice to lock that in Again, I'm going to press and hold Alt and select this one here and press S to scale and just scale that down slightly. I'm going to come back in to the next, the second or the third one in. Press and hold Alt and left select. I'm going to press S and scale this. Left click when I'm happy. Again, I'm going to go to the next, the second one. Press, press and hold Alt left select and press S and just scale that up okay I'm just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button and that should do me okay that's fine I'm gonna press 1 now okay I just want to make some alterations to the main body of the mesh I'm actually going to use this as his top it's about the right size so I'm going to come over here to where his hand and his arm meet on this edge loop here I'm going to press and hold alt 
and left select I'm going to press V and that will rip or cut across that edge loop okay and that's still selected I'm going to press S and just scale this up slightly and I'm just going to drag this forward I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe just going to zoom in here and select the end of his of his hand by press pressing and holding alt and left select and I'm just going to press E to extrude and just extrude this out and up the sleeve just a small bit and now I'm just going to press S and scale this up slightly okay I'm going to come back to the end of his sleeve here I'm going to press Z and left select solid shading I'm going to press E to extrude and right click to cancel I'm going to press S and scale this out like this and I'm going to press E and extrude backwards okay just to about here left click to lock that in I'm just going to press 1 for front view I'm going to press S and just scale this in slightly okay left click to lock that in I'm going to press control tab and left select face I'm going to press and hold alt and left select okay I'm just going to have to individually select these faces I'm going to press and hold shift and left select these faces around here I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate I'm going to do the same thing for the front faces on this sleeve press and hold the middle mouse button okay and once all of these are selected I'm going to press T and bring up the this property panel and under UVs and shading I'm just going to left select flip direction okay now I'm just going to press T to hide that property panel and press 1 for front view I'm going to press A and deselect everything okay I'm going to come down here to, to this line here if your line is a little bit skewed you can press and hold alt and actually change this to edge selection mode first I'm going to press control tab left select edge if you press and hold alt and select this entire edge around here press and hold shift and alt okay and if you press s to scale z for the z axis and just zero it should flatten that out okay i'm going to press one now what i want to do is just again like i did with the sleeve i'm going to press v and that will split the two of those apart i'm just going to right click snap that back to its location i'm going to press s okay I'm just gonna right click and cancel that it's gonna grab this and drag it down slightly I want the top one so I'm going to press and hold alt and left select I'm gonna press S and just scale this out like so just out further than the, the bottom half left click when I'm happy I'm gonna press and hold alt and left select this I'm just gonna press S and scale it in a small bit left click when I'm happy and just drag this back up underneath okay and I might just start pulling a few points on the pants just to get it in better shape but I won't bore you with that okay I'm just gonna press control s and left select that save this and that's gonna be it for this tutorial okay I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I'm going to make a couple of modifications to the character. So I'm just going to left select, press tab and left select edit mode. I'm just going to press 1 for front view. And I'm just going to roll the middle mouse button just to zoom in. I'm going to press Z and select wireframe I just want to increase the height of his boot so I'm going to press control tab and left select edge 
I'm going to press and hold Alt and select this edge and just press E to extrude and extrude this up slightly. Left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press S and scale this out. And left click when I'm happy. I'm going to press Z and left select solid shading. Okay, I want to, I'm actually going to split this top part of his body here. So I'm going to press and hold Alt and left select this entire loop around here. And again, I'm going to press V and split that. Just going to right click to cancel. I'm going to press S and just scale this up slightly. Left click to lock that in. I'm going to press and hold Alt and select the bottom part of his neck. I'm going to press 1 and just go into front orthographic. Again, you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by pressing 5. I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe. I'm going to press E and extrude the neck down underneath the jumper. Left click when I'm happy and I'm just going to press S and scale this out slightly. Just so you can't see. A divide okay I'm gonna press Z and left select solid okay I'm just gonna roll the middle mouse button to the side I'm gonna press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just drag that in I'm actually gonna press just right click when I'm happy I'm gonna press 3 for side view I'm gonna press Z and left select wireframe just so I can see the width of that I'm gonna press S again Y for the Y axis and just drag this to around here. Left click, lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press Z and reselect solid. I'm going to press tab and come into object mode. I want to add some buttons to, to the front of this, just, so, just for some detail. I'm just going to place the cursor here by right clicking. I'm going to press Shift A. And I'm going to add a mesh and a circle. I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90. So I'm going to press R for rotation, X for the x-axis, 90, and enter. And I'm just going to press S and scale this down. I'm just going to come over here and press 3 for side view. And roll the mouse wheel just to zoom in. Okay, again, I'm in orthographic. And I'm going to press tab and left select edit mode I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude this and I'm going to say Y for the Y axis just drag this out to about here left click to lock that in I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to pan I'm going to press E to extrude and right click just to snap that back to its location I'm going to press S and scale this in Left click when I'm happy. I'm going to press E again to extrude and Y for the Y axis and just drag that back in. Left click to lock that in. I'm going to press E again and right click. Now I'm going to press S and scale that in. Okay, left click when I'm happy. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just so I can see this a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to drag this in the Y axis just to form a little bit of a taper. And I'm going to press E and right click to cancel. I'm going to press S and scale this in. And I'm just going to press E, drag this out into Y. Left click when I'm happy and just press F to fill that up. Okay. I'm going to press tab now and come back into edit mode. And I might just press S and scale that down slightly. Okay. Left click when I'm happy. I'm going to come back here, press 3 side view. I'm going to press R and rotate this. Left click to lock that in. I'm just going to drag it into position. Okay, I might just drag it off what looks center. Okay, that should be okay. I'm going to press tab and left select edit mode. 
and press A once or twice to select every